this is a station telling people of when their flights are going to take off. And again, those South Poles are watching them real close to see if they're actually going to get out of here. My name is Sharona Thompson, and we're in McMurdo, Antarctica, and currently we're in the broadcast studio. What I do here, I'm a broadcast engineer. Uh, it's my first season so in this position. The next song is by one of my favorites, Sarah McLaughlin. And I was a janitor before in McMurdo and then a shuttle driver last year, so this is a really big step. I broadcast movies. We have about 80 movies a week and also facilitate the radio station as well. All right, you're listening to Holly Troy, The Voice. That's right, this is 104.5 Ice Radio. I had filmed in Africa as an amateur and uh, discovered the power of documentary filmmaking. So. Last year I came back as a shuttle driver and so that gave me a lot of time to think too and I ended up making a couple films last year. One just a training video on how to check out vehicles and fuel them and such because it's so cold outside just to even learn that so it's kind of the first step that people take when they get here as a new shuttle driver is to watch that film. And then the second film I had entered was a film about how paint and rust decays here in Antarctica with the hard conditions and took photographs of, of dumpsters and sides of buildings and such and created these abstract art pieces that I put together in a little mini film for the film festival. So that passion for film uh, continued and I applied for this position here as a broadcast engineer and feel so grateful that I got this position this year and I'm learning a tremendous amount. So we have 13 stations and one of those stations is our weather station. And uh, this is broadcasted throughout the community and this tells people what the weather's like. We have years and years worth of music we have a whole vinyl room next door of the music that's been here for 30 years. These are called the McMurdo Information Pages, which I upload every day. And it has the, the times of when, say, the medical center is open or what's the meal for the day. We do have a broadcast that we show, um, that we actually film and show throughout the community. And that is the Sunday night science lectures. I, I film those and then edit them and we put them on our TV station so people who weren't able to make the lecture can watch and see all the interesting projects that are happening here.